Good evening, friends. It's not hardly 11 o'clock yet. It's still the 27th, but we're going to be reading up. The devotion for the 28th, September 28th. Uh, just a little bit early here. Uh, today's devotion comes from uh, God's Way, Day by Day, by Charles F. Stanley. And this devotion was made possible by Katie at Simply Katie Walks. September 28th. The scripture is Matthew 10 8. And it says, Freely you have received, freely give. This is about forgiveness. Forgiveness is the only way to bring genuine healing to a harmed relationship so that both people can move forward in the relationship with freedom and strength. But, you may say, I'm not the one at fault. Are you telling me I should still ask for forgiveness? Yes. When it comes to restoration and reconciliation of the relationship, it's not a matter of who asked for forgiveness first, but rather that forgiveness is given and received. Forgiveness surely has been received freely on our part. We must be quick to offer it freely to others. And that's today's motion for September 28th. That makes me think about Jesus on the cross and uh, forgiveness was uh, given to us for our sin. And uh, he gave freely. Uh, some people says he done it for us. And some people says he done it for the Father, our Father God. Either way, it's, it, it's to, our, our, to our advantage. Uh, it's our benefit. Uh, I'm not going to argue that argument and get involved in that. Uh, to me, it was done for me. To me, it was done for the Father also. It was part of the plan. It was a plan of salvation. Uh, it was a plan of forgiveness. It was a plan of redemption. And our, our, to me, our redemption is not complete until we get to heaven. Uh, we're yet sinners. And uh, we've got to die in Christ in order to receive the full, the full benefit. If we die outside of Christ, uh, we, don't, we don't receive any time. Uh, we, receive, uh, we receive eternal punishment. We receive hell. God bless you, friends. Uh, Father in heaven, have mercy on us. Please forgive us of our sin. Thank you for our blessings, God. Please bless our friends, our family, our neighbors, and our animals. Guard us and protect us and keep us safe and well. We pray, Lord, that you comfort the families of those that have lost loved ones. Uh, I hear it's over 40 now in the southeastern states. Uh, Judge, uh, I'm a Governor Kemp said, last I heard him say, uh, there's at least 15 in Georgia now. And uh, we pray, Lord, that you give them comfort. Thank you for our blessings, God. Bless our friends, family, our neighbors, our animals, guard us and protect us and keep us safe and well. And uh, your will has been done, and there's a reason for all this. And uh, we may not see it, and we may not know now, but we'll know when we get to heaven. In your name we pray, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. God bless you, friends. Enjoy the rest of your night. Enjoy tomorrow. Thanks for stopping by. My name is Norman Chester. I live in Blonica, Georgia. Uh, this area is called Nimbleville. N-I-M-B-L-E-W-I-L-L. -L. Nimbleville, Georgia. God bless you, friends. Thanks for stopping by. You can uh, like, subscribe, or you can walk on by. I wouldn't ignore the word of God. I've ignored it for a long time. That, uh, I'm just tuning in and catching on myself. But praise God, it's not too late. Uh, 
make Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior before it's too late. Uh, this lady named Kelly, uh, she talks about a deliverance uh, and fighting against uh, powers and principalities. And uh, I've been told that somewhere between uh, the first heaven and the third heaven, uh, there's a place there that uh, there's some bad things going on, that there's a battle going on. It's in an un an unseen realm, and uh, it's unseen forces, and uh, I wish that the Bible uh, told more about it. Uh, that's when we have to, uh, we need to put on the armor of God and fight that good fight. Uh, some people see behind the scenes uh, a little, little more better and a little, little more in depth. And, uh, they see how a uh, deliverance from uh, and fighting that battle uh, helps us uh, to live our life a little more uh, better here on this on this side before we uh, before we get to heaven. It don't have anything to do with us uh, being saved and getting to heaven, but uh, our faith in Jesus Christ does that. Our belief, but uh, it does uh, to turn from your sin and fight the good fight and. Uh, uh, to be Christ-like and to, to fight the battle for righteousness and uh, to fight against the powers and principalities. Uh, some people don't believe in, believe in that, but uh, I do. And uh, I try to fight the fight. And, uh, I rebuke the devil and uh, I try to break curses and uh, things. Uh, I prayed that the good Lord would forgive my mother for some witchcraft she practiced when we was kids growing up. Uh, there's lots of things that uh, block our prayers. And, uh, Satan, he wants us to be deceived and uh, believe what uh, he wants us to believe and uh, think everything's okay. There's a, there's a, there's a battle going on. In between uh, the powers and principalities and the good side. The angels in heaven are fighting the Bible. In the book of uh, Daniel, there's a battle going on, and the angel that brought uh, Daniel the message, the answer to his prayer, he had to go through a battle and fight uh, to get his message delivered to Daniel, to get the message delivered. And uh, my understanding is when he left Daniel and uh, went away, uh, he had to go back and fight in, fight in the Bible some more. You can ponder on that. You can check it out. It's in Scripture in there somewhere. Good night, friends. God bless you.